There were very few uplifting characters in the dark, gritty, and often terrifying Batman mythos. Violent criminals roam the streets of Gotham while Batman is trapped in a never-ending crusade for justice. Dick Grayson, the vigilante known as Nightwing, is easily one of the most positive and good-willed characters in DC Comics. He was the very first Robin and Batman's first partner. In this video, I'm going to take a close look at this iconic character. Is Nightwing being portrayed as he should be, or are new stories depicting him as another person entirely? Find out soon. Also, if you guys like the content that I make, be sure to support my channel by subscribing. With that out of the way, let's dive into Nightwing. Dick Grayson was taken in by Bruce Wayne after his parents were killed during an acrobatics show. He was taught advanced areas of study at a young age and soon became the crime fighter known as Robin. Batman and Robin protected Gotham City together for years. During this time, he started the famous superhero group known as the Teen Titans. Now, I think it is actually very important to recognize Robin as the founder of the Titans because it shows his eagerness to be a leader at such a young age. He was growing tired of being in Batman's shadow and wanted something more. This is part of the reason that he threw away the Robin mantle and became Nightwing. Dick learned a vast collection of leadership skills when he was a part of the Titans, allowing him to form new teams in the future. In recent DC continuity, Nightwing founded the Teen Titans Academy, where the original Titans have become teachers training the next generation of heroes. So it is no doubt that Nightwing is a born leader. And it completely makes sense. Dick was trained by not only the world's greatest detective, but by a leader of numerous teams such as the Outsiders, Batman Incorporated, and arguably the Justice League, Nightwing absolutely benefited from watching Batman be a leader. Now here is where things get interesting. Is Nightwing represented well in DC movies, shows, and recent comics? Generally speaking, yes. There are a lot of DC characters that have been portrayed poorly, but Nightwing is not one of those characters. I know that I have talked about the New 52 animated films extensively on the channel, but I love Nightwing's portrayal in these movies. He plays a sort of big brother character to Damian Wayne, while also being a light-hearted yet serious crime fighter. Nightwing has always played the role of an experienced leader in comics, especially of late. Yes, there were times that Nightwing was not represented well, but with any character, that is bound to happen at some point. In my opinion, the live-action Titan series did not portray Nightwing as the leader that he is. Something else that I want to mention is Nightwing's natural charm. As mentioned earlier, Dick Grayson is a kind and light-hearted person. This is taken a step further when considering all of the romantic partners that he has had over time. To say that Dick Grayson is a ladies' man is an understatement. Like, holy cow. Over the years, he has dated Starfire, Zatanna, Bridget Clancy, Barbara Gordon, and the list goes on. He wouldn't be able to be this romantically involved without his charm. I think uh, this is what a lot of people love about Nightwing, um, his amazing personality. He is a good mixture of being calm and kind, but also knowing when to be serious and firm. In a storyline in which Bruce Wayne was thought to be dead, Nightwing stepped up to the pedestal and became Batman. Even though Dick Grayson and Bruce Wayne have strikingly different personalities, Dick is the most lightly out of anyone to become Batman. He is a great detective, a justice-seeking hero, very intelligent, and a skilled martial artist. Any other former Robin becoming Batman would seem off to me. Dick Grayson was the perfect candidate. Nightwing acts as his own Batman while protecting the city of Bloodhaven. He proves that you don't need to be dark and tormented to do so. Thanks for watching. It's always exciting to talk about any Batman character, but Nightwing is definitely one of my favorites. I'll see you in the next one. So for now, take care everyone.